Hey guys, in the last lecture we spoke about for loop. So in this one, let's talk about while loop. Simply put, a while loop evaluates that an expression is true first before it executes some commands. So the key thing to note here is that a while loop will evaluate the expression first. Now let's head back to the lab system and for our first example, let's keep it simple and print numbers from 1 to 5 using while loop. So let's use nano and let's call our script file while example.sh bin bash. Now here x is equal to 1. So what this has done is it has declared a variable x and assigned it a value of 1. Now let's use a while loop so while dollar x minus le 5 now what this means is while the value of x is less than 5 do and we'll keep it simple and just print the value of x now if we don't do anything and close the loop like this it will become a never ending loop because the value of x was statically declared as 1 so it will always be 5 and this loop will be never ending so we need to do something so let's increment the value of x we can do that by typing x is equal to dollar brackets dollar x plus 1 bracket close so what we've done is we've said that once you printed the value of x go ahead and increment the value of x by 1. So the next time the loop runs the value becomes 2 and so on until the value becomes 6 at which point 6 is greater than 5. So this condition is not met and the loop is broken. So let's save this. Let's make it executable. And let's run this and as you can see this way you can print the value of x with from 1 to 5 using a while loop now one use case for while loop is that you can read contents of an input file and do some processing on them so in this example we'll read contents of a file that I've got on my machine called my text file.txt it is located on this path and we'll just display the contents here first it's got three lines of text so what we'll do is we'll read these three lines of text and then print them out on standard output using a while loop so let's do nano file read file dot sh slash bin slash bash now the variable here would be file and we need to give it the full path of the file that we want to read. My text file dot txt while ifs is equal to read line. Now do what's happening here. So ifs means input field separator. It takes some input and separate that input into multiple fields using a particular separator. Now to take an example, let's say your input is Sam, comma, John. Now if you specify comma as the field separator, it will then separate this into Sam and John and then you can do some processing on these two fields separately. Now in this example, because we are just reading contents of a file, we use the read built-in command with IFS. And one important thing to note is that space, tab and new line are default values for IFS. So we can either specify this like this that we want to separate the fields by new line but 
new line is a default field so we can ignore it altogether next we've said read which is a built-in command that reads some line and then we've whatever we've read we've said assign the value to line so basically what this loop will do is it will read the contents of this particular file until there are some lines in the file and as soon as the content of the file is exhausted we'll break out of the loop now what we need to do is we just need to print out this content on screen so we'll just go echo dollar line we can say done now what we need to do is we need to specify that this in this while loop will work on this input we can do that by typing it like this and now we can save our file make it executable and run the file so this is how you can read the contents of a file and do some processing using while loop now I'll quickly run through this while loop again because this is important so we've said there is a default variable there's a variable called file it takes as input the complete path to an input file read into a line print that line on screen and for this while loop take as input this variable now this is well and good for an example but let's make it a bit hard let's read the contents of your past wd file which contains your users specifications or settings on your linux machine so if i look at the contents of my past wd file i can see that the first parameter or the first field is username the fields are separated by this special character and it has one two three four five six seven fields the sixth field is the home directory of that user and the seventh field is the shell for that user so let's write a script that takes this file as input and prints on screen the home the username home directory and shell for each user on your machine so we can write that script as let's first give it a name so while read past wd dot sh give it pin bash now file so this would be slash etc slash past wd while ifs equals the character that is a field separator on past wd file read minus r and remember past wd file had seven fields so let's store each field's value in a variable so field one field two field three field four field five field six field seven do now what we need to do is we need to print now we can do this using echo but I want to take this opportunity to show you that you can use printf which makes it easier than echo to format your output on screen. So this time we'll use printf which will again display whatever we specify onto the screen and now what we need to print out is username percentage s comma shell percentage s comma home directory percentage s new line because we want to separate our output line by line or rather we want to display our output line by line f1 f2 f3 so what's happening here and then done now so what's happening here we've given the input to while loop of this file we've said while this character is our field separator read the output in 
these seven different variables printf username this percentage s will then so the first percentage s will take the first field and display here the second percentage s will take the second field that i've specified here and display it after shell and the third percentage s will take the third field and display here after home done now speaking of this i've noticed two things that i need to change in this script the first is that after username it should be percentage s rather than dollar s because then the s becomes a variable and we'll try and search for the value of s but here all we're doing is we're trying to replace percentage s with the value of field f1 second is if you remember from past wd file that shell was seventh and home directory was the sixth field i've not used dollar in front of those values so let's make it dollar f1 dollar f7 and dollar f6 and let's print out let's print it out correctly so we've got a username field which has all the usernames that are specified on our system a shell field that has the shell of each user a home directory field which specifies all the home directories of our user so this way you can read an important system file like passwd and separate that files different values into different fields and do some further processing on them with this we've come to the end of this lecture i hope i was able to explain how the while loop works to you thank you for watching i will see you in the next one bye if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.